We're going to use photop.com. You can use it over the internet, which is great. Depending on your Wi Fi connection, it'll be choppy sometimes, but be patient with it. All right, here's a picture of Andrea. I'm going to change the color of her shirt. And I first want to make sure that my image size is a workable size because it's a high quality picture. So I'm going to go to image, image size. Oh, yeah, that's a really big file. And I'm going to, the largest number that shows on your picture that you use, make sure it doesn't go more than 1800. Okay, and let's lock it in. There we go. Make sure that lock is, is there. Now I can hit the tab button and it should lock in. Okay. I'm going to click, leave everything else the same. Click OK. And that's going to make the size smaller and it'll be easier to work with. All right. Let's go to the navigator. It's all right. It went smaller, but just zoom in on the navigator. There we go. All right. Next, I'm going to make... A duplicate. How do you do that? Do you guys remember in Photoshop? How do you duplicate a file? Right. Command J or Control J if you're on the Chromebook. All right. See the layer over here? I made two of them. Okay. Now I'm going to change the color of a shirt. And I do that. I go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. And there's a shortcut there is Control U or Command U on the Mac. Move this over, and I'm going to slide this over there. It might be a delay depending on your, again, your Wi-Fi speed and your computer speed. So I'm going to change our color to maybe like a bright pink. That we go, like that. But not so bright. The saturation, I'm going to tone it down just a bit. Just like that. Awesome. Click OK. And now, here's, the, here's where the magic happens. Click the layer mask down here, click on it. As you have this layer that you change the color, as you have that one selected. Then you're going to go to your brush right over here, okay? And make sure that you have this, see these arrows that are up and down? Make sure you have black selected, the top one, because that's the color you're going to paint over the white layer mask, all right? Now watch, look it, if I start, I'm actually gonna leave her shirt I'm going to make my brush a little smaller and I'm just going to start erasing her face on this layer so it'll show underneath. Okay, here if you make an error anything you can reverse that easily all you have to do is just go here to your little brush area I'm sorry your colored area click the arrow make sure you get white and you're on the layer mask okay because you're gonna paint white on white to erase that which you're actually not erasing you're just covering it back up see so any areas that you feel you messed up on just go back and just click this go back now I can go in there I'm gonna zoom in there you can see around her neck area I'm gonna zoom in there and get rid of that other stuff and make the other paint there and just make my brush size smaller you can see a little spot I missed there but that's okay I'm gonna fix that in a little sec I just realized I don't have to paint her just her only her nails. I can do the whole her whole hand. Okay, so there's your finished product. I still have to go in there with the hair. I'm gonna leave the couch like that. I'm not gonna erase it. I'm just gonna erase that. I'm gonna leave these purple lamps in the background because it matches. And. Um, that's it. That's what you have to do is to color a picture that you've taken of somebody's shirt or pants or bolt. Um, you know, if I really wanted to, I should have le left her, uh, her lipstick purple too, but that's all right. So that's how you do this project. Um, if you missed anything, rewind it or email me if you have questions. 
um, I want you to turn in a before and after. A before and after. And the way you do that, remember, you have to save it for the web. First, you have to save it, right? Let's go to um, save as PSD, which is your Photoshop document. In this case, it's Photopea, but it saves it as a Photoshop document too. So I'm going to call it save. See, it saves it already in, that's what I call a woman in yellow. So it's got to um, actually save it as a PSD. And then you're going to go export it for your for saving it into the folder, into the class folder, and to your blog, JPG, okay? JPG. So we're gonna click that, there it is right there. Just click save, okay, and it saves it like that on your, on your computer. It doesn't ask you where do you wanna save it, it just does it automatically. And then post that to your blog. Um, Post it to your blog in a collage before and after in a large picture format. And also, I don't know if you guys should post it to the Google Photo Albums as before and after or just the after one. Yeah, just do the same before and after, the same collage into the photo album. Just because I wanted the original picture too that you worked on. But okay. So go ahead and do that. And then you're going to do a, a, a screenshot of your work as you're working on it. See, right now I'm going to do Shift Command 3 and take a screenshot of my work and that post it to your blog. You don't have to turn that into the folder, but just post it to your blog along with your collage, just showing that you, you were actually working in this file. All right. Again, if you have questions, let me know. Email me. Uh, please be patient. I have so many of you emailing me and two different email addresses and then plus all the conferences that are going on online and all this other stuff. So um, please be patient and then I have to deal with my granddaughters and my grandson in my little studio over here as well. Right now they're pretty quiet. So, all right then, thank you Vikings.